Hello, you mouth breathers. Welcome back to Scry Syndrome Podcast. I am your host, Ben Gilman. Welcome back to our TV podcast. I hope you are well. As always, I am joined by the muscle expert, Mr. Titty Bumstopper. It's Tara Curry. Hello. Hello. I love men. Titty. It's squishable. They're, they're merchandising opportunity that you are missing. Literally, uh, you should do Mr. Muscle properly, not because brave. Pay- Gym, but like proper Mr. Muscles. <laughs> you remember know, the Mulan training one? Yeah, and I bet you're grading them on muscle. Um, <laughs> yeah. How yeah. many I'm muscles sure. are on top? You know yeah. I mean? yeah. Oh, oh give them all three out of tens because you're a tough woman. Very like, mm, firm not, not, not firm enough. Mm, no. High level. Um, what's it going by to his son? A man that if he was to host, he's trying to host a charm. Nobody's because he doesn't get it in his mind. That charm sucks. It's Troy Salmon. Oh my oh, goodness, the charm land is still continuing after all these years. <laughs> Nothing's changing there, bro. Nothing's oh, changing. Oh. You're still getting shot on every oh, day. My God. Charm, the charm one that is here for you, charm people. I'm here for you, the, the chosen one. Don't worry, I got you. I got you. Don't worry. Ooh, not this new single. Ooh, so I can. Ooh, so I'm bad, dude. So I'm happy. Fuck me, this week is a busy single week. Stop, 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 stop making the lies. Parkway Drive have also... Wow, there's a lot of good bands releasing a track off their new album this week. Wow, that's going to be a busy summer time. Anyway, oh, right. okay. mm. still Helen Watkins. She's she's again too cool for us to hang out on Friday. She's decided to go and to do whatever she's doing. Like, that's fine. We will have her back next week. How are you guys? It's about the heat wave, I'm sure. Singapore heat wave is still a thing. Heat wave in uh, Singapore? Every day. Every day. Every day you'll be sweating. Every day you'll be sweating. <laughs> Every day you'll be sweating. Uh, you could most probably drink and keep yourself refilled by drinking your pet sweat. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll go both for that by Especially when you wear that thing twice. Drink your armpit sweat or keep you hydrated. Welcome to episode 119. Armpit sweat keeps you hydrated. <laughs> I'm going to write that now before I forget. Oh my God. Excuse me. I have to write that. Armpit sweat make, keeps you hydrated. Oh my God. Oh my God. Normal service has resumed today. So, um,. Is there any news that you guys want to talk about or anything before we start? Is there anything that you want to tell me how your week was besides sweating like a pig? Well, my job is great. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely. And I'm going to visit in summer. Okay. Yeah. I was the Dutch man, the Dutch man going. Sorry? How is your session in the next island? Oh, it's going to be great. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so I was like, yeah, it's going good. I don't worry about it. I've got a tracker. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to go straight into my pick because, like, um, I was teasing off camera to try to like, uh, make it shit in the dark. So, you know, Stranger Things, that's all. Let's just go straight into I don't do it. I knew it was Stranger Things. I knew it was Stranger Things. I knew it. 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 I knew exactly what we were because I was like, that's the only show on literally that I know he's going to watch. Stranger Things, I know he's going to watch it at some point. Oh, yeah. He put the plan. Line. Not even the mouth weaver line gave it away. No, no, no. Hey, I, just, I just knew. Oh, my community from, from the jump. As soon as you brought it up, I was like, okay, I know what you're saying. Oh, you knew. 
So this, 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 this is the ability of the charm uh, one, you know? This is nothing to do with you. It's got to do with everybody else. <laughs> Part of you, right? Oh, 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 always on, like, be true. If you haven't yeah, seen Stranger on. Things at this point, like, everyone and their mother has told me that this show... I'll, I'll put it over, oh, man. See? It's the power I have, guys. You you are playing a small part in it. Get your ego under control, <laughs> Mister. <laughs> I'll have an ego. Ah. I, I never have an ego. Put down with Troy's ego, please. <laughs> oh my gosh, no nah, man. I'm good. I'm good. Strange man. As long as you see it, man. Oh, wait, wait. Where have you got to? Well, I started watching it a couple of days ago. Okay. So I'm in season one. I'm halfway through season one. Mm. But I'm just going to give you a thing because it's a very short one this bit because it's all of what? The Amparana 3D, but we won't talk about Amparana 3D because it's just about the beginnings getting Amparanas. Um, that's not important. Let's not talk <laughs> about that. No, I, I like... Okay, you're, the 80s is a lot. is done a lot now. I feel like we've done... Especially... Um, Finn Wolfhard, who appears in every 80s thing from It to Ghostbusters and just seems to he's rack up the 80s. Man, yeah. like, he's just going to make a killing off of this 80s revival, isn't he? That's what he can do is do an 80s set stuff. Um, but I don't have to tell you what Stranger is about. I'm sorry. I'm, I, if you've not known at this point, then you know what the plot's about. It's set in the 1980s in the fictional town of Hawkins in Indiana. There's uh, nu- numerous supernatural events occurring around the town. Obviously, I don't know what yet because I'm only on the fourth episode and they still haven't quite played their hand yet. Yeah. That's the upside down. I guess it's the alternative reality or another dimension. Um, or there is a United States government child exp- uh, exploration facility in the area. Uh, Eleven's broken out of it so far. <laughs> um, the kids are all brilliant. I I adore. Oh, what's his name with the with the mouth? Um, oh, 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 what's his name? Oh, 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 Okay. Uh, it was Dustin. Dustin, yeah. Oh boy, um, so not dead. So Will Briars is a missing kid, one of the group of friends. He's turned up. He's not dead. He's in the other dimension or something. See, I've never read spoilers, so I don't know what's happening. I'm kind of excited because I don't know if anyone dies or anything. I don't know. Much. I feel like a real newbie and I've avoided spoilers successfully. I've heard great things. People said season three was was pretty good, but season four has gone above it again. They said season four was still pretty good. Just so by season two and four, kind of like a little bit down. But I love the mum, Will's mum. She, she, the grief she's gone through in the first four episodes to find her son. It's some fucking amazing acting by Renaud Ryder. Yeah, yeah, Lord, I love the acting. It's just so your heart goes out. And just four episodes, I feel for all these characters. You feel it. It's season one, I know, man. I'm always because we've gone to such season one again. This, this is Ben right now. It's the beginning. It's a great, great ride. ride. And the thing is, there's not like eight seasons to go watch. It's just four seasons of eight or one episode. It's very doable. I'm going to most be about to be talking because we've been sitting for it because I'm going to try and do three episodes, four episodes a day. Like, I'm going to try and eat show as fast as I can. Like, I adore it. Um, David Harper is Jim Hopper. Like, David Harper. Yes, my Jim boy, Hopper is amazing. Like, he doesn't want to get involved and he does get involved. I love it. Because at first you think he's an alcoholic guy. I've even bought the, the prequel novels for four pounds. Oh my oh gosh, you've got the prequel novels. Oh That's my how crazy guy. I'm going to read these after I've watched the first four seasons. Because, like, like I, I, I saw them. I've even bought, like, season four preview magazine. 
Um, <laughs> Ben's gone fully into this. Ben's gone oh fully in because I feel like it's going to be worth my time. Um, love, Evan, love, Lucas, really snarky. I just um, got a great theme as well. It's just the synth is so amazing. That's all strange things. The Duffer Brothers. Oh, incredible. That's I don't like Steve. Uh, you're not going to say nothing because you're going to like Steve at some point. You're going to like Steve. Yeah, I, I'm sure I like all these characters at some point. I mean, Steve is just on the right side. Nancy, I've just got a feeling that all these characters. Nancy's. Um, um, I don't know. Na, 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 Nancy's dead, as far as I can tell. Which Nancy? Um, Nancy, the glasses. Anyway, I'm, not, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying nothing right now. I'm just saying this. I have a feeling that people are coming back. Suck, don't do that. Kill them, kill them. Don't, don't stop bringing people back from the dead because I'm going to be a part of that. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm sorry. I don't want characters dying and then coming back from the dead. It's bullshit. Um, so that might be my own problem because Will's already sh shown that he's not dead. So I felt it took away. But then again, you don't want it to be a dark, dark show with no hope where people are just getting murdered. And like the bit where she axed the wall to find her son stuck in the wall. Yeah. And there's nothing. So cool. It's so brilliant. I think the show is amazing. I can't wait to see where we go. I, I, want, I want to see what the other dimension is. And they're taking their time. They're already halfway through season one. They haven't played their cards yet. Yeah. Uh, each episode feels like two hours long. It does. It does feel like that. You pack so much in each episode that you feel like it's really long, and it's not. I I don't know how big they get. I'm sure they get much bigger as the seasons go on because it's what six years between seasons, between this and season four, and they're all going to be bigger and it's going to be amazing to watch that. It's going to be like Harry Potter but much better. I'm going to um, say right now the scope. Of the the last season, the latest season. Oh my god, the scope, man, the scope is. Insane. It's going to go past Indiana, is what you're going to tell me, isn't it? It's going to go into America. Oh, I, I ain't going to say anything, man. But it's, it's the scope. My god, the way the way they use the the effects in the late season is incredible. I've got to admit that. I've got to admit. Go. I'm going to show you a spoiler. You, you know, I don't know what this is. I don't know what. Oh. I don't know if this is a spoiler. I don't know if this is a spoiler. Be careful, be careful what you look at. Be careful what you look at, Ben. I'm not looking at this until I've done all four seasons. Yeah, don't look at it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I got it just ready for when, when, when it's time. I'm going to put this away over here so I can't. But I've gone. Troy's face when I showed him the book he was like, oh, he's gone deep in the book. <laughs> the prequel books. I was like, oh my goodness. Well, I was going to do Squid Game as well this week. I'm going to start oh, shooting. Oh, yeah, I forgot you Squid Game. I forgot you. No, no, I'm taking on the big boys of Netflix and going, right, I'm going to start slapping down these shows. And Bread and Brother Academy, which I'm looking at all these shows. I'm like, I need to start nailing these shows off. Umbrella Academy is like, eh, but the rest, the rest is good. Huh? Umbrella yeah. Academy for me is like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but Gerald Way from My Chemical Romance is massively overrated. He's banned from that guy anyway, so fuck him. Uh, <laughs> what the hell? Sorry. <laughs> Oh my gosh. There's my yeah. new guy this week that I'm going to go after. Yeah, but I love it. And I know a lot of people have complained recently. Everything's set in the 80s and it feels like we've reached peak 80s now and people are sick of it. But my God, I, I adore it. I love Stranger Things. Before I put in, what, how many episodes? There's 34 episodes currently on Netflix. I've only done the first four, there's 30 more to go. <laughs> uh, I thought, literally, literally, I was season four and I was like, and I was like, where can they go with this? And I'm like, the way they ended it, I was like, oh, incredible! I was like, let's go! I'm ready! I'm ready! I'm ready for the next season! I'm ready for it! I don't want to say that I'm ready. I'm, I'm looking ready, bro. So I think I'll be ready by the time season five rolls around because I'm gonna munch. I'm going to go through all the Netflix shows and start tallying up for it, ticking them off. Because, mm. you know, there's a lot of good stuff on Netflix. 
and I need to start doing the big shows, even if they are. I've got scary reputations like Breaking Bad and stuff. It's time to start. I still got pissed for Breaking Bad. It's so bad I haven't seen it yet. Do it's not really be good. surprised if you hear me doing all the greatest hits like Heart, I like Heart stuff that I've done recently. I'm doing the big shows at Netflix, yeah. except for Bridgerton. Bridgerton can cop. I'm not oh, Bridgerton. Forget that. F that bullshit. Like, oh, I love you, Mr. Darcy. It's so... I'm not watching that rubbish. It just looks so boring. It's just, I love you. Oh, what have you got? Nothing. Right. What's the thing you've got? It's got monsters. And it's not showing me the monsters. Show me the monsters. Show me what they look like. <laughs> sick. Show me the monsters. Like, show me the money. Show me the monsters. Season four's trailer does play in the background, though. Um... When I go to select it, and it does look devastated, so I'm guessing shit kicks off later on. Yes. yes. So, things like, ages. Season four, it, it connects so much. To, I'm dumping, bro. I was like, how they did that? It's just like this happened. You're like, wait, that connects with that. No, I'm like, oh, it's that. It is incredible. It's incredible. It's incredible. And I'm also in between us. Again. Yeah. You watched it? Do you know? I mean, I've seen them things a little bit, a little while though. I haven't watched them a little bit. I watched the one where they went to the old people's home and Jay had a wank. Oh. Oh, oh my god. god. It's the one where they put like hair removal cream on Wool's penis before he goes on a date with the uh, social worker, support worker, the old people's home. And he, he puts a wig over it because there's no pubes on his dick. <laughs> So stupid. But I, love, I've done stupid. It. I haven't seen it in like three years. I don't think I've seen it in between us in two or three years, and it still made me laugh. Because I've seen it hundreds of times. Yeah, I forget yeah. how good that show is sometimes. Sometimes you watch a show and like you forget how great it is sometimes. Like three years. You just forget how funny every episode is, and they did three seasons and two movies. And I still think Tower haven't watched it in between us. You should go watch it. I'm going to watch some on Flight of the Concords as well. That show was funny as heck, bro. Flight of the Concords, bro. Oh, my God. Yeah, I surprised you by getting Stranger Things because, you know, mouth breather is like something that they get, like teach 11. So I was like, hello, you mouth breathers. I thought you would clock it right there, but you did. Yeah, mouth yeah. breathers. No, because I think I think the, um, the, the screen, the screen cloud was like when you said it, it was like it kind of started cracking my things. That's why it came through. I didn't hear you say it. That's why. Um, did it, was it a bad connection? <laughs> yeah, it was like a little. There was a little mini connect, a little break there, and I was like, "Oh great, is my voice okay now?" It's fine. It's fine now. It's fine. Bollocks. When you're talking, when you're talking, it's fine. It's fine before. It's fine. Hmm. Okay. Well, I don't hear any more echoing. Well, that's good. So that was only just for two seconds. So that's okay. Anyway, so I'm done. I'm not a stranger in in Brunners. What did you bitch like to talk about? Hmm, let's talk about the original guys, not the Korean. Yeah. Yeah. How they all look like they don't fucking bake. Who are we talking about? The original money highs. Oh, original. Okay. Yeah, I yeah. mean, the characters look like they don't bathe. I don't know why. <laughs> That's dirty. Uh, no, I've got, I've got to admit with, um, with um, Tari as well. I've got to admit. I'm, 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 no, I'm serious. And, uh, Many uh, Europeans. What the heck? I don't swear. What did you say? Smelly Europeans and they're not washing bollocks. Yeah, I know. That's why we left the EU. We don't want to be associated with smelly Europeans. Oh, <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> oh my God. anyway. <laughs> okay, so basically Money Heist is about a few petty criminals and they are recruited by someone called the Professor. And I must say the Korean Professor is much better looking because the, the original one looks like an ape. Like the original one looks like an ape and he's a bit socially inept, a bit weird and all. And I don't get how 
how the female cast find him sexy. I'm like, ugh, gross. Because he doesn't wash, that's why. That's why people... <laughs> well, I don't like people who don't wash. I don't like them looking. Yeah, so, Chris Spencer is actually better looking, to be honest. And so, Professor recruits them and, yeah, like, gives them names of cities and so on. So, I'm going to point out what is what. Uh, okay. Yeah, so... Um, who looks like they don't bathe? Let me see. Okay, let's talk about it when we go into the story. So they actually rob a place called the Mint. It is a place, a mint, that they sell the fancy shit-ass stuff. Like <laughs> money, gold, jewellery, you know, all the bling-bling they have in there. And the storyline is pretty much the same, but uh, there are more episodes, and it goes more in detail for each character's past and all. So, um, so... Well, as mentioned, you know, Denver has romance with a girl, one of the hostages. Okay, you know, the Korean version is, ladies, like, so much better looking. Because in this version, it looks like her hair is those yellow ramen instant noodles, you know? (laughs) And she naturally looks like she doesn't bathe, and her hair is like ramen hair. So I'm like... Dude, then, well, how do you even find that attractive? The Korean la- lady version is so much better looking. No, but Koreans, they go all oh, do that. They, they make themselves look nice on purpose. That's what they do. Yeah, Nice, perfect. Long, wavy hair. And this one has, like, ramen hair. Yeah. You know, and it's sticking out in all directions. They are yeah. like, dude, how is that even attractive? <laughs> hey, people love that grunge look. The grungy look in it. People love that stuff. Well, yeah, she doesn't bathe. I'm like, dude, yeah. why don't you bathe? The what the freak? Okay, okay, the Sadako um, uh, Juon chick thing. We don't wash. We don't have a bath. Yeah. We don't wash. <laughs> Greasy. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay so in the Korean version, Denver looks like he doesn't bathe. He looks like a smelly Asian guy. Which she is. And, um, the original version, the Denver looks like he actually bathes. <laughs> I love how Tara's just breaking it down for just how, how people look. <laughs> they don't wash or anything. Like how dirty <laughs> they are. Just breaking down. I'm sure like the camera picked up the grime. How the camera after they've spotted their dirty. <laughs> just ranking okay. characters with hygiene. <laughs> Yeah, so I don't really know what Berlin's past in the original film, but they portray him as a wine lover and a classy guy. Well. But in the Korean version, he was acted by the by Sang Woo, Sweet Squid Game. But Sang Woo portrayed the main character. Sang Woo was a North Korean prison dude who sells. Yeah, but I don't know. I mean, the original Berlin seems so much more refined and educated. Yeah. 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 And um, uh, okay. Also, a Helsinki we are like two big ass ugly thugs. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, they're they're Serbian. Oh yeah, they're, the Korean one, they're North, North Korean, Korean from China. But in China. the original, they are Serbian. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Rio, Rio as usual, but. Yeah, I mean, he's a cute little boy, though. And I don't know, I just find Tokyo so annoying. Just like both versions, I do not like the Tokyo very much. I always prefer Nairobi. I've always preferred Nairobi to Tokyo. I don't know why. I wonder why. Yeah, I mean, Nairobi actually had a purpose for the heist. To get money and see her son again. Mm-hmm. Tokyo, I mean, it's a... I know she got nothing to do, so I'm like, I'm gonna go for the high eight eight that's for me. So yeah. <laughs> 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 the thing is, the pants are so ugly in the original version. Like, dude, the third one is way better looking than him. Oh, you kill me. You kill me. You got me up. I've got nothing to say. I, I don't understand I just why they, they just, just love me. banging in the toilet, the bathroom. Because in the original, uh, Tokyo and Rio actually had an affair like, you know, for five months prior to the heist. In the Korean one, they didn't actually. They developed feelings throughout the heist, 
but it's a more clean version, like they didn't have sex and all. But you know, the original version, they kept banging in the public toilet, the handicapped toilet. I don't understand why people bang in a public toilet. It's so dirty. There are germs, bacteria, mitochondria, and microorganisms in every corner. And you guys can sit on the toilet seat and bang and throw your clothes. So the floor is fucking dirty. It is. Like, seriously? And it's a public toilet, you know. You know, people want to use it. And it's a handicapped toilet. You know, handicapped person wants to use the goddamn toilet. You know, why are you preventing someone on the wheelchair? Or so, 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 so. Using the toilet. Basically, you're rubbing them off your right pee-pee and poo-poo while you're fucking on that goddamn toilet seat. <laughs> you don't get this in the crew. I'm guessing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's true. It's a crime preventing preventing uh, someone disabled from having their rights to defecate while you use it as your fucking thing. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, Why do you let them go to the toilet? Do you like it if someone prevents you from going to the toilet? No, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. Tokyo is like 15 years older than Rio. <laughs> but, but, dude, how's that even possible? Oh my god. Impossible. <laughs> Nothing's impossible. Oh my, oh my god, god. when you said that, but I had the handicap to like your. I mean, the Korean version is cute, though. He has that K pop ish idol look. K pop. Yep, yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, I heard about some um speaking of K-pop, I think of some um there's a girl from Black Pink. Who yeah, I think she's gonna sign some um new type of show, Euphoria type show, the creative euphoria to be creating another show. Yes, the idol. Oh, did you hear about it? You hear about it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. what's gonna be I'm gonna have to activate his like, like yeah. House of Dragon. And I don't know when the idol is coming out. The idol is going to be good. It's going to be good now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be good. Yeah, I'm going to check that out. I love Euphoria, so if he's doing that, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to check it out. Yeah, it's going to be bad. But um, yeah, I've got to watch the original um, Money Heist anyway. I've got to check that out because I watched that like, literally half of the first season. I never finished it. I, I need to go back and finish it off. Because I get into it and I was like, for some reason I'm watching something else at the time. I can't remember watching, but yeah, you check it out. Money Heist. Mm-hmm. It was a really good show. Yeah. Goes, Peter Evan goes, try to finish it off now. I'm like, yeah, man, I've got stuff to watch. Bro. But um, yeah, yeah, now, now I've got time. I've got time to watch Carl. I'm not really watching anything right now. So yeah, I've got time to watch that. Try to finish it off. Yep, Money Heist, and um, I've only watched season one so far. It has five seasons of the original, so yeah, I'm gonna have to watch all of it. But okay, I understand the originals in Spanish, but the dubbing is just so bad. The like, dubbing is horrible. The dubbing is shit. Like, the dubbing like, is trash. Spanish, yeah, the dubbing is shit. Like, like, flat, and you know what's the best part? The origin, the original Nairobi actually scolds Denver for like falling in love with that hostage, she's like, you tell him really straightforwardly, you know like what you're doing is Stockholm Syndrome, and because of blah, 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 she has to love you, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. I mean, I do mean, you remember? Oh, I love you. It reminded me of the naked um, director that everyone has. Oh, naked director. Watch it. Don't watch foreign stuff in a dub. Just watch it, read the subtitles, for God's sake, it's... The dubs are always terrible for live action for some reason. <laughs> oh, shit. Shit. Yeah, dub is horrible. Mm. <coughs> I couldn't help it. I'm watching the sub. Especially the Nikola Fan. I couldn't see a sub version. I'm watching the sub. The original, original language, man. Straight up. Because the sub dub is horrendous. It's like 90s level, <laughs> early 90s. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> slipping. An anime style dub. Yeah. <laughs> No, I don't know why I'm like looking at people who don't look at Skyrim. 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 Skyr
Oh, I'll get my Is it any good though, Tara? Hmm? If it's any good. What do you mean? Would you, would you recommend it, basically? Yeah, I would recommend it. Yeah. Okay. So, Kim looks like a thing. Fucking Asian Tarzan. That's what the Korean Daniel looks like. Asian Korean Tarzan. Yep, yep. Korean Tarzan. Disney's Tarzan. You know what? I can't forget the time we actually did the Tarzan podcast. <laughs> 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 she loved that one. I know she loved that one. Yeah, yeah, like, that mention one. Spelly, sweaty, B.O. I'm like, oh. Can, you, um, can he like, bathe in the, in the river? Oh, no, my friend, right? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so from uh, someone, yeah. the colonizers, okay. and bathe in the river. And the the most important thing when you do is to bathe. When you must let your yeah. armpit. So <laughs> perfect. <laughs> what? <laughs> I love it. I do know someone who doesn't bathe with soap though. Right. This guy's gross, bro. man. <laughs> People do it, but I'm like, how would you just wash that? It's, it's crazy. It's the same thing, same thing. No soap. You need to smell it all the way. Soap, bro. Okay. okay. Was that your only one, Tara? Was that, was that your only pick? Yep, yep. Uh, I think that's going to be for this week. Thank you, Tara. That was amazing. Money. Tara keeps robbing banks. This is where she keeps picking money. Yes, yeah, that's, what, that's what I'm saying. Tara's been robbing banks on the low, you know? That's what she's been doing. She's got her own crew, you know? We know, we know, we know, Tara. We know. Money host. Okay. She's right. got a, a, a titty crew, yeah? Right. Yep, so, yep. It should be titty heist next week. I want to see. <laughs> titty heist. Titty. Would you like a titty? Where you, why are you sounding like Matt Cave? I want a titty. <laughs> you put the titty down. You got a titty heist, mate. A titty heist. You're only meant to blow the bloody titties off. Titty heist. 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 Titty Get ready for the mood. For the mood ready. You know? got, uh, okay. Uh, Batman, yeah. Butler, Michael Caine. What do you want, Ray? That's a great, that's a great name for for show. The T. Is it a good Michael Caine impression or is it an Australian impression? That's what I remember. It is alright, alright. It was, it, was, it was almost Australian. What do you, you want, want, Master Grace? <laughs> what do you want, Master Grace? Oh. Want me to get you something, Master Grace? But the male kitty master. I'm also awesome powered doing something. Just the way. You go out there every night and you fight crime. Did you blow the doors off the Batmobile again, Master Way? <laughs> you, you blow the doors off the Batmobile. <laughs> you twat. I'm a much better actor than you, Christian Bale. Oh my god. Master Bruce, would you like some fruit lozenges for your really deep man voice? Right. Oh my god. Let's move on before. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. We can do this all day with this battle game. We can do this literally all day. Uh, um, okay. So, my first. Tara's accent. I think Tara sounds like. Even Tara attacks Spanish Europeans. With like, you think he's my pain. You can't even declare the bloody doors off. Tara, where did you get your London accent from? It was certainly. I know, where did that come from? So do you know a song these books are made from walking? I'm gonna make a song. These titties are made for squishing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh, honk honk, you know, the soft padded feeling on the man titties. Yeah. What the heck? You you, you torture her. Like, you should be in the hospital right now. You know you should be in like, that's <laughs> the hospital. 
You were torturing people, you're chaining up men, it's like, it's like torturing them. Like, that's you right now. Like, I see Tara too. Like, like, one of my ex colleagues' husband is F Cup. Yeah? Yeah, it was so big. And I'm like, like oh, so gay, just so gay. And he's like, oh, really cool. Because it was the ultimate city, man. It was an F cup. <laughs> Oh my, my gosh. Save, save us. us. Save us. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Wait, I got, I got. Hey, let me, let me, let me save my pick. Let me save my pick. We get inside. I got to save. I got to save. We need to get your pick, brothers. We're going to yeah. be here for an hour yeah, and a half. I got to save. I got to save. save. All right. So, well, first well, pick, guys. Okay. Just saw the whole season. Hmm. A oh, Resident Evil. Oh god. Resident Evil was kind of old. Oh, you're not like my Resident Evil. It's like a Hollywood version of Resident Evil. Oh, oh, Which Resident Evil? Uh, are you talking about the but, Netflix version or? Yeah. Uh, yes, Netflix. Version. Ah, okay, okay. I mean, it's not that bad. It's all right, though. Tra- Troy, what did you think of it? Because Tara thought it was okay. How do you think it is? I think it's all right. It's not that bad. There are worse shows out there. Here's, yeah, don't obviously do a worse show, but it's as a Resident Evil show, nah, it's it's an it's, it's an L, it's an L for me, bro. I can't, I can't. It was a good, it was a good enough show just for if you if you take yourself out of that Resi universe. Obviously, there's no no Easter eggs. Oh, it's a Cowboy Bebop thing that I said a couple of months yes, ago. Yes, 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 yes. That, yes. It's a Cowboy Bebop yes, show. Yes, yes and yes, they yes. pretend it's something else. I'm just it's like, very good. I'm just like this. Don't don't go too crazy because you see some stuff in there and you and you laugh because there's certain things in there and you laugh at it because you're like, oh my god, you're not meant to laugh at it. You're not meant to laugh at it. You're not supposed to laugh at it. But it was a scene. It's a couple of scenes that made it to a comedy. Made a couple of scenes that I was like, oh my god. Um, but this is supposed to be New York Raccoon City, so basically it's um set after um the Raccoon City incident. Um, where all the people died, that in the games, but um, it has a, a Wesker in there. Wesker, uh, obviously played by the great Lars Reddick, and he plays his role to perfection. Though, he, when they gave him, he played to perfection because I don't want to say too much. Because Ben, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna see it, Ben. Ben, are you gonna see it? I'll go check it out. I might. You might. Okay. Am I? Because the trailer didn't impress me, but I like yeah. dance. The, the actor that we spoke about last week, I like, um, the the West, I like him as an actor, so I'm kind of watching. Yeah. Yeah. So if you watch it for him, then you're then you're fine. You can just okay. right, grind out. You can ride out. Okay. Stuff around, stuff around you is just kind of like, oh my. Ugh. Well, they put teenagers in it. That's my problem. They said, "Oh, you've you've tried to make this." Hey, game. hey, hey! Of... Boy, them te- the... especially one of the teenagers that of oh, that, that Tara. If you've seen the show, so you know exactly which teenager I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, that's the teenagers. Yes, Jade. Remember Jade? Yes, Jade. Oh my gosh! What do you think of Jade? What do you think of Jade, Tara? Real quick. Uh, I think she's all right. <laughs> Which Jade? Teenage Jade or grown out Jade? Jade, I'm not the, the young Jade. Both of them. But young Jade's the worst. She's hot. In terms of like natural, acting wise, all right, all right. But in terms of like the character, she's horrible. She's horrible. She was swearing for five minutes. Like she had no respect for no nothing or no one. She's a, He's just a horrible child. But I was taking care of this woman. I was out the door ages ago. I was like, yeah, yeah. no respect. But, um, <laughs> that was just, I, I, I'm really cute. I, I know each other. I can't stand him. Um, by the, by the choice, I'm, I'll let, I'll, I'll let him, bro. But anyway, I'm not going to rant. <laughs> calm down, man, calm down. But, um, but yeah, um, yeah, her character, Jade, and she's literally the main character of the show, Jade. Yeah, 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 she is, yeah. yeah she's, she's, she's the main character. Um, because they go back and forth and with, between um the present and the future. Basically, that's what they do in the show. You got Big Jade, who she's trying to um save 
the world trying to find this um um mythical cure that she's that she's mm-hmm. trying to do, trying to save the world in her own way. But at the same time, when she's doing it, she's causing chaos. She's, she's, she's causing all this, she's causing all this madness to happen. And you're like, what? You're like, Jay, come on, Jay, really, really? And your daddy's Wesker. And you're still making these mistakes. What is wrong with you? It's like, it's like, it's like, come on, it's like, love the past. But um, there is like a little twist with Wesker that like, you find out like, halfway through the show, which is, which is kind of funny. Um, <laughs> I don't want to say because. I'll just say this. I'll just say this with one word, Blade. That's what I'm, that's what I'm gonna say. That's what I'm gonna say. Then you're gonna know exactly what I mean when you see it. You see the scene. Then you're gonna be like, no, you're gonna be laughing your head off. You're gonna be like, oh my, this is what I'm showing red. Oh my god. Then you're gonna, you're gonna be like, you're gonna be laughing. But um, yeah. yeah. It, was a, it was a show. It was okay. It wasn't that. It was a show. No, I was like, no, it's a show. No, I can I can understand that it doesn't get second season because. The stuff they do in the show, I'm like, oh, sometimes it's blasphemous. Not, not jeez. But um, obviously you see like um certain scenes, you see, like, see the dog, that kind of thing. See the liquors, the stuff from the games, um, the law. You see the liquors. Yeah, you see the liquors. Yeah, like in the games, yeah. Um, there's new them in there. Oh, no, like in the oh geez. Um, but yeah. You see them in there. Um, you see here, obviously here name drops. You speak about the show. You, you start to recognize certain names in certain places. Like, oh snap! Okay. So they, they talk about that kind of kind of stuff. But um, they even drop like a, a little Easter egg at the end of the, the show as well of where they're going next in season two if they get another season. Um, but um, but people that <coughs> people are hating the show right now. But I, I, I can enjoy it because I watch it with watch it with people. So. You just do it because they're just kind of like, oh, snap, what's going to happen next, you know? But that, that future that future timeline was terrible. I couldn't stand the future timeline. The past, I could, I could kind of watch, but the future timeline was, was not good at all. It was not good. Um, so, Tara, what would you prefer, the past or the future? Or should I say the present or the future? Mm, maybe the present, future. Yeah, the present. Yeah. The present yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that future escape was, oh, that was rough. Um, you only got good towards the end of the season where you kind of say, okay, now you kind of know what's going on. But at the same time, it was just like you're just thrown in there and like you came from the quick because you know that it can make or break a show. You know, when you do like the, the, the print, the future, and then what's gonna happen, and you go back to the past, and then you go in future, it's just it does that, it, it can destroy the rain of the show. And then at first, like the first half of the season, it, that, that's what it did, and then the second half, it kind of slowly picked up towards the end, like last time of the three episodes, maybe. Kind of picks up again, but um, yeah, that's uh, Resident Evil Netflix, uh, eight episodes overall. Um, right. first season, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> let's right. just say, last, last ready, he keeps it going. I, lo- I love, I love the fact, by the way, the Stranger Things when you go in, it's got fucking like its own. This Netflix logo goes, in, it's got thunderstorms and shit. Yeah, like, yeah. Why, yeah, that, why do you could... need that? That's so it's cool. So customized. That's that's how great the uh, change of things is. They should do more customized. stuff like that. Yeah, to do the show. For every show that they do. Yeah, it's so good, man. Oh my god. Oh, me. But um, yeah, Resident Evil, man. Hey, it's uh, if you if you're not a fan of the games or you haven't played the games, then you can go in and watch the show. I used to play the games. Yeah, this is it. play game. Well, did, which one did you, did you play? Did you finish the games? I don't think I have it. I mean, oh. I don't know if I found <laughs> I As a casual, you're fine because you're technically your casual. So you can kind of watch the show and kind of go, yeah, yeah, yeah. But if, if you're like a die hard fan, then it's not that great as a show. Because it, it takes a mix of so, so many storylines in the games and the lore of Sons of Evil. It's like, oh my god, you, you did that. But um, if you're not doing all that, watching the show, then you're good. You're good. Because I don't know, it's just like a basic TV, it's like a teen drama almost with with yeah. ready elements in there. That's basically what it is. Yeah, I'm not sure though, but uh, at least we're seeing things from a different point of view rather than looking yeah. at the same people like you know Leon Kennedy, Jill Valentine, Claire Field. <laughs> yeah, it's a brave. It sounds like a brave go of it, but teenagers yeah, yeah. does it have to always be teenagers? Everything rebooted now feels like we have to have a teenager. Yeah, you got yeah. kids in there. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, yeah. don't do it. Just have adults. I don't like teenagers in reboots. 
like where do we we are not in that stage anymore nothing to romanticize about high school though it's a shit place <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Kids. Has not the best life. The best is of your life are most likely in your early thirties. Yeah, that's really my. Uh, check out yeah. the band or check out. No, I'm trying. I'm trying to see you on what you what, what you do. But what's oh, like Stranger yeah. Things? I'll go over to Rosie. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, what? Finish Stranger Things, man. Come on, finish Stranger Things, bro. Finish that. Apparently, again. uh, do you guys watch the movie like Welcome to Raccoon City? Yeah, I, we talked about it. A yeah, we talked about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the the yeah. guy from Victoria's back is Leon Kennedy. I'm like, what? You destroyed the image of Leon Kennedy. Yeah, we've yeah. spoke about this a couple yeah, weeks we ago. We, we destroyed and, it. We destroyed and it, it was um, yeah, first of all, Leon Kennedy. I'm not even angry that they changed the ethnicity of the character. I didn't mind. I didn't mind. The I'm a bit angry actually because Leon is Leon. No offense, but you can all take the. An Indian guy and make him Leon. Okay. Oh, but my main problem with the character is he was a doofus. He was played as a, as a clumsy guy. That's not Leon. Leon's a badass. Yeah, I like. So that's my biggest problem. Leon. Is the way they portrayed the character. It's like they screwed up Leon because Leon can't do nothing right in that movie, and that's yeah, not my he's, Leon. He's, Leon's he's, a he's badass. An he's an idiot. He's an idiot. I like. I like my blonde Leon. You know. With the pretty yeah, boy but, and all. But for me, it's just the character was really bad. And that's not done. The actor was fine. It was just, I don't like a comedy. That's not evil. That's Leon. The comedy in my eyes isn't evil, is what I'm asking. Just that's like, it's what the Netflix seems to be doing is like Americanizing it too much. It's just, no. Yeah. I still haven't seen good Resi anywhere except for the film, the animated films. The Resident Evil ones, the the, 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 the Hollywood films were shit. Um, the TV series were shit. Raccoon City was shit. America, fuck off. You can't do it. Just stop it. Yeah. <laughs> Throw your other pick, please. Uh, so, so, second pick, um, it's called Blood and Treasure. Treasure. It's, it's, yeah, Blood and, Blood and Treasure. Blood and Treasure. Yeah. So, Oh my god, are you looking at like Google images of the old piece? It's really the type yeah. I like. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right. We're, we're, we're stuck in Resident Evil. We're stuck in Resident Evil. We're 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 in Resident I get it. No, I get it. I get hey, wait, it. I, hey, trust me, that's a fan. I understand. I knew um, it was the same issue for Yennefer and the Witcher, right? I was actually hoping that uh, Eva Green could be Yennefer because she's like a real life Yennefer, but I think they ran out of budget to hire her. Uh, okay. Witcher. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 And he was a guy, I'm not seeing Super Hollow. He was in that for a bit because he liked, he liked the sister. And he was like yeah. this, um, this art dealer kind of like a kind of peak. So he oh, basically he... played the same character in this show. And they said they were going to do a spin off from Super Hollow. It never happened. And this show happened. And I was like, he's basically the same character. But it was Super Hollow in this show. So they basically he's got this um, uh, the premise is basically the, the speed who. We were trying to like, basically get Anthony and Cleopatra these, um, these tombs and try to find secret um, knowledge to control them. That's basically what um, Blood and Treasure is. And we follow Danny McNamara, who's played by Matt Bar, the guy who's he got off. He goes on this mission to save this woman who got attacked by one of these thieves. Um, and you really, have you ever seen The Mummy, the original Mummy? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, the, yes, all the prayer. Yeah. Know the guy, the Magi, who was helping them. The guy, the yes. horse, the Magi. Yeah. He's he's literally the villain of this show. He's the he's, he's just the, he's the he's the main villain. He's the, he's the main villain. The show. He's like a, this like kind of um, Egyptian Middle Eastern kind of guy, and he is like the guy they're trying to stop. He's called Farouk in the show, and. <laughs> for Rook, he's got he's got the affinity for blowing stuff up. So 
he goes he goes in this pyramid, um, caps all these people, um, shoots uh, one of the people in the leg, takes her because she knows about all this Egyptian knowledge and all these kind of things to do with like um tombs and um queens and kings and all that kind of stuff, takes her, kills her, kills all the people I said before, and blows up the pyramid. And <laughs> for some reason, no one knows this happened, but it's just kind of weird. He blows the pyramid, <laughs> take, takes the woman, keeps her for like all this time, and you got you're following uh, Danny McNamara now. He's he's trying to find this other thief, um, who's literally just like him because he used to be FBI and now he's turned, turned um, uh, role, role, as it were. As it were. And he uses this guy's jet to kind of find different places to kind of track down Farouk. So, so all this stuff is happening there. It's, it's, it's good. It's a good plot as well. It's kind of surprised how good the show is as well. It's like kind of like um, um it's like a Indiana Jones slash National Treasure type of plot. Uh, it's the story, and I'm like, it's like it's, it's, it's a it's a it's a um adventure show. It's, it's nothing too crazy. You ain't gonna see blood everywhere. It's gonna be like some rated R kind of craziness happening in the show. It's kind of like a you can watch it with the family, you know. Um, kind of family show, which I found um, interesting. I was like, okay, Blood for Treasure, and it's got two seasons out right now. And I didn't even know this um this show even existed. I was like, where did the show come from? People were talking about the show; it was like trending at one point. I was like, what the hell is the show trending for? Um, and then, uh, if you've seen um The Walking Dead, if you if anyone's still watching The Walking Dead, mm-hmm. Michael James Shaw, he's he's in the show as well. And I was, I was shocked by my head. I was like, what the heck? What's he doing in this show? Um, this big bad guy, this big bluff, bluff. That guy's like ripped part of his mind. If you're listening to Walking Dead, this guy is huge. He wears this red, he wears this red suit. If you're Walking Dead, he's one of the guys in the comics. They basically made him live action. I mean, The Walking Dead. He's, he's a great character, by the way. Uh, uh, but uh, yeah, check this show out. I think it's on Paramount, Paramount Plus right now. I think you can get the app. But yeah, it's just literally streaming on that show right now. Blood and Treasure. Um, really good show. <laughs> check it out. I don't know how many episodes it is right now? I think it's um it's two seasons right now. Episodes. Ah. Da, 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 da. How many episodes are there right now? Let me just do a quick check. And nah, nah, nah. uh, fourteen episodes right now. Okay. Two wow. Seasons. I mean, sure. Yeah. You remember when uh, Austin Vincent Man got the, the, they 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 told him to step down as W chairman? Yeah. yeah. He was suspended for. Sexual allegations while we're recording live. Vince McMahon has just retired from the WWE. No, no, he hasn't. No, he hasn't. He, he hasn't. hasn't. Every time I record with Troy, next week Vince McMahon will die live on the air. Come for one twenty next Friday. Vince McMahon will drop dead on air while we record. He's gone. Are you saying no? Go check no. Good riddance. Good riddance to the prick. Goodbye. Oh my God! What is going on? Bye bye. Oh, I know for us in the day. I know for the, the no way. Every, Come on. It's it's a it's a lie. It's a lie. Mental has happened in WWE. Let me try that real quick. Let me, let me try to confirm what's going on here. What? No way. He's actually gone, gone. I thought before he leaves. Anyway, we're gonna um. So we're gonna let's bring around this podcast now. Unless tyler has got any more city man jokes or anything she wants. Oh, to oh, okay. Uh. Um, there's a bra sale going on nearby the mall where I live. So, you know, sometimes I like to ask the guys with big titties, like, hey, what's your bra size, yo? Bigger than yours. And then they'll ask me back, what is yours? And be like, I don't know. <laughs> what's yours? Sorry. <laughs> <Tara. laughs> oh, my God, no. <laughs> It's bra season, you know, there's sale everywhere. There's a five pound bra. You get one for three pounds, get one for five pounds. It stopped to give them black eye and a titty to face when I go on it. Look at those bad boys. The car door. It locks the car. It locks the bad boys in the car. <laughs> so, so. So if okay. guys are titties, they have they to wear double, right? right? A bra, uh, underwear. underwear. <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't know, I don't know what she's saying. I don't know. Oh, no. Really, no, 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 no. 5 a.m. in the morning. 
What the heck? Oh. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? I don't know what's happening. Help me. Is there such thing as a man bra? Like, like, is, this, is there such thing as a man bra? I don't know. You're fucking man don't know bra. But, but some have sissies, you know, those who work out. <laughs> Do you agree in your buzz? We can ask them. Oh, if it's hard, then has titties. Oh, why are you not on TV? Why, why are you not on TV? <laughs> come, come. Oh, why are you Nobody not likes TV? me here. Why? why are Maybe not, if I was born in a different country. Because this is gold. What you're telling us right now is gold. If you put it on the TV hard, anywhere, then, you've got money. But it's okay, he can wear a coconut as a bra or the seashell from the riverbanks. What the heck are you talking about? <laughs> Alright. Mm-hmm. We're gonna have to end this for you kids, I think. Then fast of animation we're going to Oh wait, uh, Carson has bigger titties than Jane. Oh, emotional damage! Tara, Tara's gone on a raving mad run now. We're going to have to shut her down. <laughs> Otherwise, we're going to be emotional here for an hour. Emotional damage! Oh, my God. Tara's gone mad, Tara, man. So let's get back from... Oh, by the way, pimp all your YouTube channels before she's... Oh, Tara. Oh, yeah, yeah, my, my YouTube PD channel. Yeah, you can find it. <laughs> In the description. <laughs> I'm going to eat the armpit sweat off of my thing to rehydrate me. Uh, I've got a hair from my armpit in my mouth. Hold on, sorry. Does yeah. every guy have armpit hair? Unless he's a bodybuilder, he needs to wax so it off. That my feels like my mouth of mothball. Oh, incredible. Yikes. Uh, oh. It, oh uh, my god. Trey, what about yes. you? Oh man, um, I'm, 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 I'm fried. My brain's fried right now. You gotta kill me. Uh, let's do vote 101 <laughs> with YouTube reactions, pop culture, all that good stuff. You don't want to find me. There you go. Right now, we have Facebook, we have Twitter, it's doing things. But we are covering man and dizziness. Jesus Christ. Hey, right, this is by me. Oh, bless me. Bye. Bye. Less sucks, and then we die.